Before Paul Robeson starred on silver screens and stages, before he agitated and advocated for African Americans, workers, and independents, before the government stripped him of his passport and labeled him a communist and grilled him before the House Un-American Committee during the Red Scare, and before he said he felt more like a full human being in Moscow than in Mississippi or Montgomery, Robeson, the Princeton native and son of a runaway slave, graduated from Rutgers University in 1919. 100 years ago, the world was very different and Rutgers was a very different place. He was only the third African-American student to graduate from Rutgers in history, and his time here was challenging. Discrimination initially barred Robeson from living on campus. He endured other indignities, but the school says Robeson's legacy of achievement may be unrivaled at Rutgers. He earned 15 varsity letters for excellence in four sports. He was a scholar, a member of the Honor Society, cap and skull, and valedictorian of his class. Paul Robeson kicked the door open and then held it open for all to come behind him. Rutgers is using art to begin retelling Robeson's story in a year-long centennial celebration of his graduation. The university sent out 17 requests to artists. Nine of them responded. The result, a half dozen pieces of artistic work showing Robeson in different roles in his life. We're delighted to have these depictions of different phases of his life that demonstrated how multifaceted and how talented he was. One is of Robeson, the athlete who shattered the football team's color barrier. Valerie Souter explains her watercolor depiction of Robeson, the scholar, who would go on to play professional football while earning a Columbia University law degree. And I wanted to try to capture something of his essence and his determination, his dignity and the uh, gravitas that he had. Others capture Robeson performing, singing and acting that expose him to world capitals that would accept him beyond his roles as Othello and others and offered him a stage for social and political activism that eventually would lead to ending a remarkable career. I would venture to say were he alive today, he, he would truly say Black Lives Matter. When I get a question like, who would you talk to, dead or alive? The person I always jump to is Paul Robeson. Why? Because he has accomplished so much. The Zimmerly Art Museum's director hopes the exhibit inspires. What Paul Robeson did should be a kind of acme, as the Greeks would have said, this glorious mode that every student, particularly young people, every person, but every student should aspire to. That it's not just, I think, in the university's idea behind the Paul Robeson legacy project, it's not just to look at the dates and times and facts of his life, but what he did and what it means for not only African Americans and people of color, but all students who to achieve. The Zimmerly will display the Legacy Project till mid-April. From there, the exhibit travels to other Rutgers campuses. The centennial celebration will include lectures and programs to provoke thought and talk about Rutgers' most famous alum, who for some seems forgotten. In New Brunswick, Michael Hill, NJTV News.